Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration and the first Sunday of Advent. Let us include the following intention. For the eternal repose of Punshana and Vinhami, offered by Beverly Parathus. Also for the songs, for the eternal repose of the songs of Beatrice, Rihino, Elisa, Edgar, Felix, Alfreda, Gregorio, Loncio, Bertoldo Senior, Cristita, Maximo, Caridad, Panchet, Panceta, and for all the songs in Purgatory, offered by the whole family. Also for the eternal repose of Lorenzo, Narcisa, Mateo, Manuela, Seriaco, Felisa, Leopoldo, Teresa, Carlos, and Lucia. Let us also include in our prayer for the Thanksgiving for the birthday of Jem Patrick and Illuminate.
forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, O Lord, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us give thanks to the Father always on our account for the grace of God bestowed on us in Jesus Christ, that in you were enriched in every way with all his force and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep, keep his, you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him, you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly, and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Shadow naman kami is Father, no? It's too, too early. But the spirit of Christmas is already right here, right? When we go out, when we go to the malls, even when we go to herd and houses, sometimes here in the neighborhood, we already have some Christmas lights. Okay, in the evening. And it's really a sign that Christmas is getting nearer. And we know that everybody is excited for Christmas. When we were children, we were excited because of that, the gifts. But the church today starts this liturgical year with its Advent time. A time to prepare for the coming of Jesus. The second coming, as we have also already celebrated His birthday 2,000 years ago. If people today prepare for Christmas, like Christmas lights, Christmas cards, Christmas gifts, and so on. Our liturgical celebration invites us to make another preparation, and that is the preparation of our hearts for the coming of Jesus, to be born in our hearts, and also 
to be ready for His second coming. And His second coming can come two ways. One is the end of the world that we are looking Hearing people saying, Oh, Father, the world is now going to end with all the calamities going on. That's the second coming. But there is another coming which is the coming of Jesus on a personal level when we die. And this Advent season is also another reminder for us that we need to, re to prepare for that time of the coming of Jesus. And since we have lighted, no? this is a very, very, very powerful image or symbol for us to be reminded that we are to journey for four weeks of a spiritual preparation for Christmas. First week, second week, third week, and then the fourth week of Advent. And that's the time we celebrate Christmas. But maybe, to make it more practical, to help us what should be our attitude as we are journeying through this period of Advent of four weeks. So, this morning I already shared in the Mass at 8.30, an acronym of Advent. How many letters are there in the word Advent? Six, right? A, B, B, E, N, T. So what is God expecting us during this Advent time? It's letter A, to be awake and to be alert. Okay, letter A, awake and alert. Then letter B is to discover and to detach. Letter, ano sunod na letter? B, during this Advent time, we are asked by the Lord to verify and to make a vow, a promise. During this Advent time of four weeks, we are invited by the Lord to get excited for His coming and also for His, for an encounter with Him. Letter B. And during this Advent time, four weeks, we are also called to newness. Pagpapapo. We like to have new things on Christmas Day. Di ba? Pag ang dami. Pag others. Hindi ba bagong sasakyan? Yung iba? Ano? Bago? Uy, sa Christian, bagong girlfriend daw. Okay. Okay. Pag na newness. And... Lent is also a time, Advent is also the time to be nourished by spiritual enrichment. And lastly, during this Advent time, we are called to be transformed, letter T, and to be thankful to the Lord for all the blessings. Magpasalamat tayo, magpasalamat ta sa dakang engrasya na iyang ihatag ka na to. And this is also the time of Advent. So, karon obvious, karon ang tabahan, pagpili na ito may kalamunong na unong characters karon kung kapag-aasa na ng walila. No? Kaniya kami, karon na bibiliti na po tayo, 15 minutes ko ako mamili, karon doon, 30 minutes. Okay, pero mo, wait, dito. Na may kikikikan lang si Ibai ng merienda. Diba? Diba? Anyway. Usaka letter. At least, karong naglawa, usap na letter. And obvious na sa ato pagbasa karong, labi na sa ibang hindiyo, from the gospel, we are reminded by the words of Jesus, be watchful and alert, meaning be away. Amen? Why? Because when we are very sleepy or drowsy, when there are things that are going on around us, we do not know how to respond. Ito? Inood? Okay, give you an example. Yung ang example kanina ng buong tayo. Pag, pag malapit na, ano, when, when uh, the Simbangkabi of His Etigalio starts, we praise, we really become very, very tired because of the many masses. No, in Manila, we have nine masses at eight or at ten. Then early in the morning again, we have another mass. Alas cuatro, alas cinco. So, usually, inaantok. Okay? And even, not, not only us, but also many people are also sleeping even early dawn. 
And so there was the story of a priest. When he started reading the Holy, he noticed already that the people were running. No? So he could speak. And so after he finished the, the gospel, he said, when we were seated, my brothers and sisters, who among you here want to go to heaven? Please stand up. So immediately stood up. Except one. But the priest said, now I'm going to continue to give my holy with somebody falling asleep. And so he said, please sit down. And then he said, he said, but that person looks familiar. Because it was wearing the mask, but the dress was quite familiar. Anyway, then the priest said, Who among you here want to go to hell? Please stand up. Okay. Dari pungatan ba? Di kalicik tinduk. No, she stood up. And then that's the time the priest recognized that it was his mother. Okay. And so the people at the back were saying, Oh my God, the priest wants, the mother of the priest wants to go to hell. And so the father said, Excuse me, anak. Father, what, did, what was your question? I was sleepy. Very, very sleepy. And then he said, Mother, I asked, Who among you want to go to hell? Why did you stand up? And he said, Is that the question? No, I didn't want to go to hell. But then, Looking around, she was the only one who was who stood from the evil. And then looking at the altar, she smiled and said, My son, father, it's okay with me even if I go to hell. I will not be going alone after all. The two of us will be going back. Because the priest was also standing. <laughs> anyway, that's a joke in a way, story. But it's a lesson that we can learn about getting sleepy. Even at class, when we are asleep, we do not understand, we do not listen, we do not clearly know what is going on. And I think this is the message of Jesus. How do we say that we are falling asleep, not physically, but spiritually? It's when we do not anymore be attentive to the spiritual dimension of our lives. When we do not even go to Mass, when all we think is only to enjoy about life, then you are asleep spiritually. You are no longer aware of what's going on in your spiritual life. I think this is the message that Jesus is telling us during this Advent, please. Yes, it's okay to prepare a lot for Christmas in your houses, but do not forget to attend Mass, to do some charitable words and nourish your spiritual life during this Advent time. At least by attending the Masses and listen to the Word, to the Gospels.
I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and of the life of the Lord to come. Amen. Christ the Lord asks us to be watchful and be awake for His coming into our lives. In need of His grace, we pray to the Father and say, Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. May the Pope, the Bishop, and the leaders of our Christian communities watch over the Church and keep God's people ever ready for the, for the, for the Lord's coming, we pray. May civil leaders carry out their task with love and responsibility, like the faithful servants waiting the Master's return, so that when He comes, He will receive the unfading crown of glory, we pray. Lord, May the victims of violence, terrorism, and natural and man-made calamities receive comfort and hope through the care of the church and society, we pray. Lord, praise be our prayer. May our family members, relatives, and friends who have died experience everlasting joy in the company of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, praise be our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, praise be your prayers. Father, we eagerly wait for the coming of your Son. Strengthen us by the inspiration of the Spirit and make us watchful and prayerful. You who live and reign forever and ever.
Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we may gather from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we watch, we who watch for that day, may inherit the great promise in which we are we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Hussein, our Archbishop, all the clergy, the religious, and all your faithful people, especially all of us gathered around your altar this afternoon. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Louis Marie de Montfort, St. John Paul II, St. Michael the Archangel, the Blessed Mary Louise of Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at pag-uwi ay sa iyo Diyos sama, makapangyarihan kasama.
Please the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy if you should enter under our body. I always say the word. Mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. 
Amen. So that rejoicing now with a devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration of the Holy Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.